<coughs> okay, here is the remote head liner. Removing this should be easy to see. It's already uh, except the place that the previous one was glued. Okay, this is the headliner, so it is uh, headliner magic, I got it from Amazon for $27, um, yeah. so I have two cans of spray, one is uh, the 3mm Super 77 and the other one is Permatex uh, headliner spray, so I'm going to try both of them. Probably it will take two cans, I believe. Um, if you want, you can go more or you can go with one can also. I've seen people doing it with one can. But I got one more in case if it is uh, not enough. So let's open this, measure it. Uh, the length of this should be 16 to 120. So I don't need so much. So I'm going to measure and cut it uh, how much I require. Then let's go and... Uh, paste it So I folded the sheet So this is the side has the foam So this has to stick So I folded into two First I'm going to do half by half So I'll do the front half first because it's the easiest part that side the speaker comes so you have to work more there so I'll do that at the end measure it properly check once whether it covers the whole board and let's start spraying
supposed to do the speaker right you do it like with the pressure you do it from top to down see that's a problem if you let it go it's going to create a grease top to bottom slowly take it to the outer side so here the seal has like a curved part here your time and make your finishing over there as you can see already I turned it backwards and stick the corner so the only thing I need to do is to put X mark over here cut it over here and fold it and I already like punch to some holes or so small holes over here to know where it should fit the screws or either the plastic clips so here I need to cut like a X and fold it and stick it same goes here and here you can see I made like a X uh, but I think I'm going to cut this because um, this material once the screw goes inside it's going to spin so I don't want that to happen like it may pull out uh, most of the fabric so I'm just going to cut this in this shape out okay now you can see it's all the way over here right so I need to fit this wiring to come over there so I need to push it inside and same as these wiring small wirings uh, should fit inside this these holes which I made so that's what I'm going to do next let's push this back a little bit okay for this wires not to rattle inside they had like a, a foam glue, uh, glued over this one so I'm going to do the same I just sprayed uh, the heat tube on this so I'm going to glue this on this wiring so it will not rattle
first you need to reach that pole and you need to place this this notch the top notch on that hole and your belt is creating some resistance I think I did that part couldn't see though and when you do that you can see you need to put this black bush behind with that notch in place doesn't go I want to go though okay in place oh, damn why it's so hard not sure it is in place let's go ahead and tighten it and see maybe it is in place oh yeah spinning freely doesn't look like it is isn't supposed to be in a straight angle if it goes inside that means I placed it big relief yeah okay got that wow okay same on the other side Oh my god finally I was able to fit that inside so there is a notch where this has to sit there is like a small pin it has to sit inside the hole on the body so this one doesn't move right screw drop somewhere okay got that and I got the screw inside screw holes and the notch should go in there automatically if you keep it straight oh my don't okay there it is Wow, that took a long time. Okay, the next is going to be this guy. So there are three holes over here. You can see inside, right? That's the reason I cut this completely instead of splitting it. So better you make this cut so you don't need to mess with the screws not going inside this fab this fabric will definitely uh, create a resistance when you're putting the screw inside <clears throat> so let me go ahead and put that it's a pity so before doing that you need to connect the wires hope that is self explained so need to figure out the way it need okay it has a notch so there's no way you connect this wrong okay and let's see whether it the light i don't know the weather light works only when your car is on let's position inside okay after a very long time i was able to get one screw over there so once you get the first one the rest should be easy i believe because this has a pattern it doesn't go it's not an even triangle it has a pattern so you should be like in a right pattern see that wow I don't want this really to fall again let me tighten down the first screw very hard let's go ahead with the second one now Oh, 
Oh, the light works. Oh, maybe the center one is the ground. That's why the light was not working. So, oh, got that done. So the lights are working. See? Yeah, it took a long time. But you see, the bolts are different pattern. So you need to figure out how it goes. I would say better mark uh, before taking it out. That's a lesson. Yeah, I'll go and do the other side. One thing is the handle should be looking upwards. see these two pins so this one sits in this would sit in this slot so it has to go inside this and when you push it goes back then there are two screws so that's it it's pretty simple but I dropped the screw let me get the screw giving some Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's more than enough. All right, the center lights. You see this it has some kind of uh, clip um, you need that uh, wire type uh, I don't know it's not that easy to find I believe let's put this cover back that's all hmm, there is a dust inside this okay so it should be something else Okay, that's all guys, so everything is done.